So I'm here on a uh, beautiful sailboat in the British Virgin Islands and sailing around for a few days here with some of my best friends in the world and having a great time. And I thought today was a good day to record one of my favorite principles, which is something that's kind of going missing in today's society, and that is do the work, right? We do the work, we enjoy the process, and then we feel the results. Doing the work means that you have to take action, right? So we took action to take the sailing trip, right? We booked it, we worked hard to save the money and you know plan the route and you know do all the things that are involved in creating a magical sailing trip. And you know it wasn't easy, like we had to do a lot of logistics, but you know, you have to take some action. And that's the first step is you decide and then you take action and plan it. And you know, Picasso says action is the foundational key to success. So often what most people do is they ready, aim, 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 aim and never fire, or they aim for so long that by the time they fire, things have changed, right? You've got to take action in life and make things happen. You've got to also enjoy the process. I mean, that's a big part of, you know, enjoying life is that, you know, it's not about getting to that destination. It's about enjoying the process, right? You've got to love the journey. So when we shut off the engines and we just let the wind take us where we're going, sailing is a big part of the process. It's a long process to go from one island to the next, right? We could motor there and get there a little faster, but the process is the sailing, right? We enjoy the rigging and the trimming of the sails and things like that. So, you know, happiness is not in the destination, it's in the pursuit. And so you have to realize that, you know, you've got to enjoy the pursuit. You've got to enjoy the details along with it. So put yourself in a situation where you can. And doing that means you have to encourage a positive mindset. And so when you have a positive mindset, you really start to look at things in a totally different way. And you're like, this is great. A little bit of wind, a lot of bit of wind, whatever it is, you know, you enjoy the process, really important. You've got to stay motivated, right? And when you stay motivated, you know, sometimes it's not the funnest thing to be sailing in the rain, right? We're going to get rain in life, right? We're going to get things that happen to us. And so you have to understand that sometimes you're going to have to sail in the rain or sometimes you're going to have to sail into the wind and figure out ways to get around things, right? So you've got to create your own small strategies. And one of the things that is really important in you know, great getting to a big goal, say, say getting to another island that's three hours away is a big goal and it's into the wind. Well, you know what? Sometimes you have to tack and go away from the wind and weave your way up there, right? And so these little small strategies, I call them little chunks that you have to get through in life are what make the journey great, right? You have to enjoy those little small wins, those little small pieces, right? If you take care of the little things, the big things tend to take care of themselves. So part of that is to celebrate the milestones that you have along the way as well. Because when you celebrate them, you start to tell your body, hey, it's okay to have wins. It's great to have these little wins. It's not all about getting the million dollar net worth or the $500,000 income or getting to the island. It's about the process and the things you got to say along the way. Along the way, you're gonna have some other challenges, right? So those challenges are what make life worth it right the things along the way are important because if everything were easy in life you just wouldn't appreciate it i can tell you that when people come to my seminars if i scholarship them in there because they don't have the money or whatever sometimes they don't even come to half of the, the sessions they're like ah, i didn't pay for it i'm gonna sleep in i'm not gonna get up for yoga i'm not gonna do this or that if they come to my events for example People just don't appreciate things that they don't put their money. Now, some do. Some are like, oh, very appreciative, and they, they put everything they can behind it. But most of the time, if you don't have some energy and equity in something, you're not going to appreciate it quite as much. So you have to encourage that growth mindset in the face of difficulty. You know, encourage that in yourself. Bring that out in yourself to say, listen, I'm going to that destination. It's going to be tough, but I'm going to get there. And then when you get there, now you have to say, you know, I'm so grateful that I was able to do this, right? One of the biggest lessons on this trip for me has been to look around and see how beautiful this whole place is. The water is beautiful, the wind is beautiful, the weather is beautiful, the people are beautiful, the boat is beautiful. You know, we're on a multi-million dollar boat and not a lot of people in life have created that opportunity for themselves. You can create this opportunity for yourself if you want. You know, I know often we have events in Mexico or Greece or, you know, Turkey or South America and you know some people come to these million dollar places that we're in and they're like wow this is amazing 
And if they hadn't put themselves in a position to be able to take advantage of that, they would never have experienced it. Some people go their whole life and never experience something like that. So you have to make those decisions and choices to be able to put yourself into that situation. And then you have to be really, really grateful about what you're going through and be mindful about the process you're going through and, and you know, have some gratitude of what happens when you get there. It's really important. And then finally, at the end of this, we want to feel those results. You don't want to just get to the goal. Oh, I made a million dollars or whatever the goal is, or I got to the island. Like really take it in, feel those results because by feeling those results, you tell the cells in your body, it's okay to have goals. It's okay to set big achievement targets because then when you do that, you feel those results. When you feel the results, you tell your body it's okay to do that next time, right? And you're gonna power through some of those challenges along the way that we just talked about. And that's important, just feel the results. And you feel so good when you can get through to those results, right? So the bottom line in this lesson is to take action, to find the joy in the journey, to savor the results. And anytime you set something for yourself, Remember that is the process of it, right? Set the goal, do the work, enjoy the process, and then feel those results. And I think if you do that, you're gonna really enjoy life a lot more, especially if you do it in almost everything that you do, even the mundane things, even washing dishes or you know, cleaning the house. That feels really good when you're done. And it was all because you felt the results, you enjoyed the process, not because you got it finished, but you, you know, made it so you put some music on or enjoyed the process. So I hope this lesson's been helpful and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Hey, it's Mark Yegi, founder of Light Circle. And if you wanna be productive in your life, you've gotta get a hold of my daily productivity planner. Now it's not this whole book, it's just one of the sheets from this book. The whole book is awesome, but just the sheet is really the foundation of what we do. And it's how I get tons and tons of stuff done every week, including writing books and making videos and running hedge funds and all the other stuff that I do. You've got to get this daily productivity planner if you want to massively improve your success. So click on the link below or somewhere on this page, download the thing for free, you put in your email address, we'll send you the link, and then you can start filling it out right away. By the way, after you do it, I give you a little video on how to fill it out because it's got all these really cool tools on it that are really going to massively help you with your productivity. See you on the inside.